Welcome to the place known as Cracolandia, or Crackland. This is a giant lawless street market in Sao Paulo where addicts buy and consume rock cocaine. At night, you see their lighters flickering in the dark over their crack pipes as they smoke the world's most destructive drug. We say that they are like a zombies because they, they, are, uh, they lost weight, a lot of weight. They, they, if we could talk to them, you, know, you cannot see much, you lost some of the humanity. If you you'd be using crack for years on end, of course, the structure of your brain changes. This is the edge of Crackland. It's too dangerous to go in and film openly with a camera, but we've just walked through and you get a real sense of how overwhelmed the authorities have been here by the scale of the crack epidemic in this city. The drug now is effectively legal. On the corner here, people are smoking rock cocaine. Around the corner there as well in the main part of Crackland. And the police are here too, but they can't do anything about it apart from stand back and watch. This bedlam is a world away from the image Brazil is attempting to project as a World Cup host. Here, the drug abuse is non-stop. Being a crack addict is all-consuming. They say their family is the pipe, the rock. Several of my friends who smoked with me say, I am carrying my husband. Who is your husband? They would take out their pipe and show me. There are more than a million users in Brazil. That's 1% of the adult population. The social cost is enormous with rising violent crime. As the economy has grown, so has the appetite for drugs. And with fierce competition amongst the drug lords, it means prices are low. Users can stay high all day for just a few pounds. It's much easier to get crack from getting anything else. And we're talking about a very addictive, addictive drug that it's the cheapest in the world. In Sao Paulo, the authorities are trying to help addicts recover, but for every success story like Desire, who's been clean for three years, there are many failures. It's a drug. You use it and five seconds go to, the, to, to, your, to your mind and you need the drugs every time. It's an epidemic. It's, uh, in Brazil, it's, um, it's terrible. Um, when you look, it's a war, a war. In Brazil, they talk now of a lost generation. With so many young people destroyed by crack, it's easy to see why. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Sao Paulo.